What's up ladies and gentlemen, King's Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov playthrough. This episode will keep pushing the quests from Punisher line to get that secure container as soon as possible, but I wanted to also start completing other quests. So the first line that I'm gonna be working on is also on Skier to kill one more PMC with a handgun. So the first raid we went in was on Customs where I spawned in the industrial area, I went looked around the old gas station and used the shortcut to get through the map. And this dude was also obviously doing the same quest since he was naked and with, had a, with a handgun. So after killing him, I decided that's good, we need to get out just to solve the quest. I came to the road that's splitting the small and big dorms when I heard somebody approaching me. And unfortunately, I was out of ammo. But so was this dude. And now that I knew where he was... <laughs> so yeah, that was quite lucky and unbelievable. And this dude wasn't very loaded, but still he had more gear than I did. So I gladly picked up all of his gear and decided to push towards the extract. So after having a fight with him, I went out using the smuggler's boat, and finally, I did manage to complete the quest with a handgun, where I had to kill three PMCs. So after selling all my items that I didn't need or want, disassembling, organizing my inventory a little bit, I went to Skier to turn in the quest. So after turning in the quest, I decided it was time to pursue the Punisher line of the quests. And the Punisher part 5 was to kill, I believe, 10 PMCs using AKSU. So I took the gun, loaded some BT ammo and went to customs. First raid I spawned in the far corner, so I slowly started pushing to, uh, to get out of the pocket. And just as I was pushing out of the pocket, I heard this guy inside. So there was somebody inside this small blue container room. And he just came out. And ba bam! There was the first kill. So I quickly repacked my mag, cause I always love running the 60 round mag as a first mag, the second is a backup mag. So if I kill someone, I can reload the big mag, reload my gun once again, and then keep pushing forwards. So this guy wasn't very loaded, he had a couple of items, nothing too expensive, nothing too valuable. But whatever he had, hey, it's money. So after killing him, I started pushing across towards the dorms. And just as I was crossing the hill... Yes. A damn rat kills me from some bush where I couldn't see him. I heard him go aiding down sides, but unfortunately, our raid ended up miserably there. So, without being discouraged, I took once again the same gun, same loadout, and went once again into customs to kill some more players. This time we spawned on the shore, so I started pushing back towards the big red, because I know all the players were behind me. And as I was sitting here, there was the first target. So I knew this guy was sitting behind those toilets, but he wouldn't sit there too long. But this was still not a perfect opportunity to shoot at him. So I waited, 
sometimes you need to have a trigger discipline not to shoot immediately because you're just going to blow yourself away. You're going to blow the cover. It's not going to be good. But what I didn't expect is that there's going to be another guy pushing from the entrance as well. And so our subtask for Punisher was complete. Unfortunately, I lost other kills somewhere along the way because the footage got corrupted once again. But that was our last kill pretty much, so I quickly loaded my mag again, and I was still waiting for the other guy. Or he was waiting for me. Well, we still managed to complete the quest, so after the raid I went immediately to Praport to finish the Punisher Part 5. But before finishing the quest we still needed to buy some guns. So I had this M4 A1 just sitting in my inventory, I got it from another quest, so I stripped it away and turned it in pretty much naked to prep war and then it was time to buy some more guns, so I had to buy the PM guns and I had to buy some AKs. So after pretty much buying all the guns that he wanted, because they didn't need to be found in raid, I went on and turned in those guns to him. And this was the completion of our Punisher Part 5, and it was time to go on Punisher Part 6. So first I had to turn in some dog tags, 7 bear dog tags and 7 Yusek dog tags. After that, all we had to do, a simple task, you know, no, nothing bigger than kill 15 PMCs using a sniper rifle, an SVD. So first raid I went into customs again, I spawned near the old gas station and I pushed immediately across the shortcut and just as I came to the dorms, I heard some movement, shooting and grenades. And that was one thick boy. So I gave it a couple of seconds to see if somebody's also with him, but he was alone. So I went on and decided to loot him. And as I was looting him, somebody was walking behind me. But thankfully that guy went in opposite direction. So after I looted his body fully, I started pushing towards the extract. And just as I was going up this hill... Yeah, somebody smacked me from the back. I have no clue from where. I couldn't see him. I just heard some silent shots coming at me and I was dead. So next raid, I took another SVD. Again customs, but this time I took a close range optics and we spawned once again into the far corner on the west side of the map and pushed towards the dorms. But as I pushed towards here, I found a guy who was immediately pushing away from the dorms. I obviously didn't kill him here. So I waited. He couldn't tell where the shot came from, because the SVD was still quite far away from him and it was silenced, so he couldn't know where I shot him from. And that's when he decides to push out. And that's where I miss my second shot. But this time he could have known approximately. And once again, missed all my shots, I didn't hit him once. So, what do I do? I knew he was trying to get to the extract, my only hope was that the smuggler's boat was not there. So I decided to flank, he must have been damaged at least a little bit. So, I pushed down the hill slowly, I was looking for him, but he was never to be found. I couldn't see him, I couldn't hear him. So I went to this bush just to sit for a minute to see if he's maybe still somewhere behind me or if he maybe mo moved away. I wasn't sure. And good thing I did wait. Because he was still behind me. He 
He was approaching me slowly. And the moment he turns his barrel towards me, I knew it was like shoot full speed ahead, otherwise I'm dead. So I did kill this guy, luckily. I reloaded my mags, waited to see if, if that's the same guy, if he was alone or if there was somebody else with him. But luckily there was nobody there, so I looted his stuff. He didn't have much, but hey, something is better than nothing. So after killing that guy, I wanted to push towards the other side of the shore where the scavs are. And as I was pushing up, somebody was sniping me from the other side of the shore. So, what do you do? Well, simple. You just lay down, pretend you're dead and wait for him to come and look for the body. Because he thinks probably I'm dead. <laughs> and that was the second PMC kill in this raid. I wasn't doing that bad. So, after killing him, I waited to see if he had a partner or no. It's It seemed that he was also alone, so I looked through his stash. I killed another scab that pushed down. Picked up anything that was good or worth of any value. Checked out the scav's body as well, because sometimes they can have key cards for labs and stuff like that. So, after looting both of those bodies, I started pushing back around. So, I pushed all the way next to dorms, and just as I came to this knocked down wall that leads you towards the hidden stash, I heard somebody approaching once again. Unfortunately, it was two guys, not one. So I was badly injured. This guy was trying to kill me with a Mosin. So what do I do? I start to push back. The only thing I can do. But I knew if he had any brains, he would push me immediately so I couldn't heal. And this ends up... So, yes, another raid ended up miserably. But I still had to do a lot more killing with SVD, so yeah, we packed another SVD, we took another gear set and went once again into customs. This time we spawned on the east side of the map towards the hill and I started pushing slowly up to the dorms because I heard some grenades and shooting already there. And there was somebody here. So I smacked that guy, luckily. And just as I thought it was done, there was somebody else pushing on the left. But it would seem it was only a scav. So after killing that scav, I figured there was nobody else coming for his body, so I went on and looted him. I wanted to see what he had. And before I was done looting and searching, somebody else was pushing again. And I knew exactly where this dude was. He was going for the stash. And I just heard him open the stash. So I decided to take blind fire. And it would have seemed to me that I killed him, but I wasn't sure. Before I would go and check, I had to look through all the items and then slowly flank around to see if he's really dead or no. And as I flanked around towards the stash, I see his body laying down, which meant I did kill him. Well, not bad for this raid, you would say, right? Two kills already.
And then there's the third guy. But this guy, he was kind of fishy. He ran into this bush. He wasn't fighting anyone. He just ran into the bush and then stopped immediately in a bush. What does he do next? He starts shooting towards the train. Okay, nothing weird there, right? So I'm laying behind the bush, completely covered. And before I could even see him, he smacks me in a head. So, yes, another raid that went unfortunate for me where too many people came at, at a wrong time, at the wrong moments, where I was kind of pinned down. <sighs> I was kind of losing my patience with this. So next raid, I went in with a scab to, do, to make some money. You know, these days, after the wipe, it's good to go with a scab inside, because you can make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, boy. Especially when you find somebody's gear ditched in a corner right next to the stash. This dude obviously didn't know there's, there's a stash, because I don't know who would... <laughs> like, he's trying to save his friend's gear, and he smacks the gear right on top of the stash. Like, good job, my friend. Good job. So I gladly picked up all of their gear. It was a nicely decked out SA-58 with good mags, loaded mags, and after that I went out. I made a hefty profit on that raid. So, once again, I took my... AKS-74U and went into another raid where I just wanted to do some PvP. So, people ask me why I don't wear helmets. Well, I find them very, very useless. So this raid we spawned immediately next to the dorms. I went to the marked room, but the marked room was pretty much not worth looting. There was nothing of great value inside. And unfortunately, I did break both of my legs when I tried to leave the mark room over the fence. And so I broke this guy as well as he was leaving the marked room area. So after I did kill this guy, I went on to reload the mag, because I always love running the 60 rounder mag full and having a 30 rounder mag as a backup. And just before you know it, somebody else was here once again. So I waited. I knew he was right next to me, but I wasn't sure did he know that I'm here or no. He was behaving kind of weird because I don't know who sits behind that container room. The shack. So I waited to see when he's gonna push. And there he was. So I went on and looted his body, because I believed he was alone, and I didn't think he would be rescued by anyone. After looting him, I had to take another painkiller, because my broken legs didn't work anymore. So I looted this guy as well to see what he had. He didn't have much, so after looting him, I started pushing towards the extract, and I went out all the way towards the end. So, this ends up our episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified when I push another video out, because in the next one, we'll be finishing our Punisher Part 6 and obtaining that secure container. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you